Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we'll continue from where we stopped with um, using Mongoose in our Node.js application. So right now, I'm going to create the routes for this application to run. I'm going to delete all of this, and then we can use them in routes. So I'm going to start by creating a route to um, post requests to slash books to create a new book. We'll also create a get request. Sorry, I just needed to paste, copy and paste. Get request to slash books to fetch all books um, gets requests to slash books slash id to fetch a single book um, it gets no sorry it put requests to slash books slash id to update a single book and then it deletes requests yeah to slash books slash id to delete all right so Let's start with the post request. So just like before, all we need to do is app.post in our route slash books, and then our callback function, request and response. And what we want to do is, um, is to retrieve new book details from request body and then we want to create a new book and save to database and we want to send back a response to the clients so let's start by retrieving new book details from request.body so let's just say const book equals request.body dot book um, before we use request.body we need to set up express to um, pick the request body so we we'll use our middleware app.use express.json uh, I'm just going to stick with express.json. So when we have the book, we now want to create the book. So let's start with fetching request.body. Let's just console.log what the book is. So I'm going to start my server, node index.js and with some seconds to have my app started and yes i have my app started my database connection successful so i'm going to head over to postman and send a post request to my book routes and that will be posts to local hosts 4000 slash books and if I send this with no uh, with nothing in the body you can see book is undefined because I have not added any book property to request that body so I can come back here and select body and we 
we used express.json so that means we are going to send raw json data um json here and then i can say books or rather book is title uh, moving heights um, category is fiction um, description is a book on moving heights um, purchase counts is 30 um, what else what else do we have here in the model okay we have the image url and the tags and then the author so the author is john smith and the image url is it's just a random link dot com and then tags be an array so let's just say fiction moving inspirational heights so I can send this now and if I check the request body here you can see now that I have book rightly in my request body so I'm going to head back to VS code here and then create a new book from this skip from uh, what is coming in the request body and matching it with what I have in the schema so what I'm going to do is going to be book which is this dot create and inside this object I'm going to have title is book dot title um, author is book dot author um description is book dot description um category is book dot category purchase counts is book dot purchase counts image url is book dot image url and tags is book dot tags okay so this will create a new book now let's add a callback function after the closing curly braces and a callback function will take error and new book and if there's an error we want to return rest.status 500.json and we want the message to just be the error else we want to return rest.status 200.json and message this time will be new book 
created and we also want to send the new book so let me just send new book so I'm going to save this and I'm going to restart my server and wait for the server to start up okay so now I can head back to my postman and send this request and let's see what the response will be and it sends back a 200 response code and we can see the message says new book created and we have our book um, the tags is an array the ID the title and all of this just the way we specified here okay so let me add a field that is not in the schema and let's see what happens let's add a field color and let's just say green and let me send this again if you look at the terminal oh, okay I'm no longer logging the body okay but if you look at the document that was created you would see that there's no color in the data here even if I come back here and I say color is body dot color oh sorry book dot color and I restart the server and I try to send the request again you will see that even at that it does not add the color to this new document and the reason is simply because there is no color in the schema here so this is what I mentioned in the last lesson when I said the schema acts as an intermediary between your application and your database however if I go to Mongo shell and I try to create this same documents uh, Mongo and I use book app um, show collections just to be sure okay books great and I say db dot books dot creates and I say title is stubborn book and I say color is green okay I have a little typo here you'd see that okay there's an error if the books that creates oh okay oh sorry db.books.insert1 is what I should use alright so you can see I have this book created and if I run db.books.find you can see this new book created here which does not follow our schema so that explains again what I mentioned that the schema does not um, restrict the database or it does not restrict what can be done on the database however it rest, um, gives some structure to what can be done on the database from the application so the schema does not restrict the database it only serves as a check between the application and the database just as a layer between the application and database all right so with that um, clear let's head back to VS code and try to clean out this a bit um, so in creating I actually do not need to put my book in uh, 
I do not need to write my request body like this. I mean like this. I do not need to write book and make it an object. I can just write my request body like this. And this should work fine. So if this will work fine, I would no longer say const book is request.body.book. I will just say I'll, I'll replace everywhere I have book with request.body. So let me just do that quickly on VS Code. So I would have instead request.body dot everything here and then I'm going to save this and if I try to make this request again let's see if we have any errors so let me restart the server and then try to send this request again and great so there, there are no errors our book was created and so just like this and uh, so that's all for creating so if we want to be able to add color we can just add color to the schema and just say color is a string and this time if i restart the server and then try to create a new book um, let's call this green heights and fiction a book on green heights uh, let's add green to the tags and let me just check okay so let me send this request and now you would see that color is added to the data all right so this is how the schema interacts with the database all right so let's head on to the next route um a get request to fetch all books so to do that we're just going to do as always app dot get slash books and then uh callback function request response um, so what we want to do is to fetch all books and send a response to clients so to fetch all books we are going to use the mongoose query methods and if you remember to fetch multiple documents we use the find method we use the find method or let me say model dot find to fetch multiple methods multiple documents sorry model dot find one to fetch a single documents and then model dot find by id to fetch single document also by id so let's use the model dot find to fetch all books so when i say model in this case we are referring to this model here book so let me collapse this so we can still see it so to fetch all books i'm going to say book dot find and book dot find or model dot find generally takes a query which is an object and this object can either be empty or it will contain a query what the query means is for example i want to find books with um whose color is green i'm just going to say book dot find color is green okay and 
if I want to find books with purchase count 30, I will just say purchase count 30. If I want to find books with purchase count 30 and with color green, I will just chain the query like this and just say color green and on and on like that. However, if I leave this object empty, it would fetch all the books in this collection. So I, I want to fetch all documents in this collection. So I'll just leave it empty and just say uh, callback function error books. So the result of dot find method is an array of documents. So these books here is an array that contains uh, the documents that match this query. It could be an empty array or it could be an array with documents. But um, it would always return at least an empty array. So I'm going to say if there's an error. Um, return rest.json message is the error and let's add the status to that status 500 dot json else we want to return the books rest of status 200 dot json and books I'm going to save this and then restart the server. Okay, and then let's send a GET request this time. And there we have it. So these are the list of books in the database. You can see it sends back an array. And in the array, we have documents all having this ID, unique IDs, you can see uh, the documents that we've created, uh, including the one we created on Mongo shell. And the other ones like that. So you can see it's an array of objects. So that is how the um, find method works. Okay, let's head on to the next one to fetch a single book by ID. So um, app.get slash books slash ID and then request response. And so we just want to fetch a single book and send the response to the client. So to fetch a single book, like I mentioned earlier, we either use the find one or find by ID method. We could use either one. Um, let's use the first one, the find one. So the find one will look like this. Um, book dot find one. And we want to find the book. This will take a query. We want to find the book which has an ID that is equal to request.params.id just like we have done in previous lessons. So what we want to do is say, um, if you notice here that the ID is represented as underscore ID, as you can rightly see here. So what we want is fetch uh, underscore ID is Request dot params params dot id, and then we can add a callback function error or book since we're only expecting a single book to be returned, and we want to check if there's an error. Return rest dot status five hundred dot json and the message would be the error else 
um, if no book was returned we just want so this will either return a book a single document or undefined if no document matches um, the query so what we will do is if there is if what is returned is undefined or null rather it should be null or a book so if it is null what we want is uh, okay let 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 me just take this off so you can be more I'm sure what I'm saying let's just say else return rest dot status 200 plus JSON and book so let me restart the server and server is up okay so now let us fetch this book by ID so slash books slash is ID and we can see it returns this book that is correct now let's try an ID that does not exist so you can see what is going to be returned so you can see book is null all right so we want to handle if book is null that is if the ID does not exist all right so um, before this we just want to say else if there is no book uh, return rest.status 404.json and our message will be book not found save this and restart the server and then can make this request again and then you can see book not found so our error is well handled all right so the other method i said we could use is the find by id so let's try to use find by id instead of find one so i'm just going to clear this off find by id and find by id does not take an object rather it just takes the id which we want to search by in this case that is requests.params.id so and this should work just the same way if i restart the server and server is up and i send this again you can see it will return the 404 error and if I input the correct ID, it gives me the book. So this is just how it works. All right. So let's head on to the next request, which is the put request to update a single book. And we'll just say app.put slash books slash ID. And then our callback. And so to update, I'm going to collapse this too so we can see. Um, to update, we use model.find one and updates, or we use model.find by ID and updates. All of these methods are in the Mongoose js documentation you can do yourself a huge favor by checking it out and reading it and playing around with the uh, query methods and all of the methods you have there all right so let's try to update this book so what we want to do is um book dot find i'm going to use find by id and updates so find by ID and updates and it's going to find by ID and updates. You can see the parameter is the ID. So that is request.params.id. 
Now, for any updates method, the second um, parameter here is going to be the update I want to make. So, for example, I want to change the title of this book to whatever is in the request body. I'm just going to say something like um, title equals request.body.title. So just like that. So as many fields as I want, I can now input them here. Uh, let's say title. Let's say we just want to edit the title and category. So category is request dot body dot category, and that would update as many fields as I specify here, and update them with the fields. Um, rather the values come in here and next will be the callback error book and if there's an error we want to send back rest of status 500.json message is the error else if there is no book because this will also return null if the book does not exist uh, return rest.status 404.json message is book not found um, else this means the book was found and there was no error in the updates. So what we want to do is book dot we are going to call the save method. So the save method affects the change and saves the documents. All right. So so book dot save book dot save also takes uh, a callback. Just to be sure that there was no error so save the book and i'll just see if there's an error um, return rest.status 500 or let's just say 400 this time dot json and let the message be the error else let's just say return rest.status 200.json book updated successfully I'm going to save this and let's try to update a book okay i need to restart my server first so i'm going to restart my server and then head here to postman and then i'll try to update just the title and the category um okay i need to take off the trailing comma all right so let me put send the put request and if I send this, all right, so it says book updated successfully. So let's come, okay, we, we, we actually did not make any change here. So let's make a big change and say a very new title uh, category is nonfiction. And let's send this and it says book updated all right so now let's fetch this book by sending a get request and let's see what the response is if it was saved and if it was updated all right so it says the title is updated and the category is updated all right so this is how documents are updated
if i wanted to update more fields i only need to specify them here in the request body i mean here the json and also um catch them in the updates here by setting the new value of that um parameter to what is coming from the request body all right so the final one is the delete and to delete uh, the method you notice the namings are quite similar so they are easy to remember model.find one and of and delete this find find by id and deletes this find one and remove this find by id and remove i always go with either find one and delete or find by id and delete so i'm going to use find by id and delete so i'm just going to say app dot delete oops app dot delete and slash books slash id and then the callback function request and response and i'm going to say book dot find by id and delete um request what we want to find is the request dot params dot id and then this we just take a callback which is error and book and if there's an error deleting let's just know return rest dot status 500 dot json message is the error else or else if there's no book if the book is null um we want to return rest.status 404.json and the message will be that the book book was not found else um, there's nothing more to do to a deleted document so we just want to send back a response rest.status 200 dot json and the message will be book deleted successfully so i'm going to save this and restart the server and then send a delete request to this route to delete this particular book uh, when I send this let's see what the response is okay it says book deleted um, let's be sure let's try to send a get request and let's see if, if that book still exists okay it says book not found let's try to send a put request it says book not found Let's try to delete again. Delete and it also says book was not found. All right, so uh, book was deleted. All right, so I hope this explains to you how um, to use mongoose in your application. Um, we'll be taking this a step further by updating our folder structure and 
we're going to be installing a new package called nodemon uh, what nodemon does is to help us in uh, server um, switching for example you notice that each time I make a change to my index.js file I need to restart the server for that change to be affected so but with no daemon I do not need to always restart my server once any change is made it will restart my server automatically so we will be using that in the next lesson and we'll be improving on our bookstore application and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.